Over 100 soldiers in the 125th Striker Brigade made it home this morning after completing three weeks of joint training with foreign soldiers in India. The program is called Yuda Boss. Ryan Grimes has the story. 100 soldiers from the 1st Striker Brigade Combat Team returned from their mission in India early this morning, having participated in something called the Udabas exercise. It's a joint training session between the United States Army and the Army of India to share military tactics and exchange ideas. Well, it was very, it was very uh, awesome. It's very different over there compared to the way we work. Uh, for example, we learned that uh, my rank over there takes at least uh, 16, 17 years. Um, when over here it's only three. So there was two portions of this exercise this year. And first portion was a field training exercise with 5-1 Cavalry who did the uh, weapons training and some of the tactical level training with the Indian Army. The other portion of the exercise was the command post exercise which is uh, Army staff from both Indian Army and the U.S. Army with 125th Striker Brigade got together and they did a planning operation for peacekeeping operations under the UN mandate. The exercise works to maintain relations between the U.S. and India, and it seems to have been working. Both countries have been participating in UDABAS for 10 years. Recently, they've expanded it to accommodate more soldiers on both sides. Just overall, it was a great experience. Uh, one of the biggest things is just building personal relationships with the other soldiers. Uh, my soldiers were able to work with them on a daily ba basis, and. Uh, really you know get to know them and they taught a few different Hindi words and stuff like that so uh, they were able to build those relationships and, and friendships and uh, I think that was probably one of the one of the most important things we were able to get done. It was kind of bittersweet in the fact that we enjoyed our time in India and the work with our counterparts can't beat coming home to the, to the family and loved ones here in Alaska. This is Ryan Grimes reporting.